Is, is it a wardrobe malfunction if the apron just falls off? <laughs> only, only if there's, if there's no nipple, there's no malfunction. Hello, welcome back. It's Ham and Sola here in the New York Times studio. And we have one hour to make dinner and dessert using a mystery ingredient. Last what? time it was coffee. So that was a surprise. So now we're a little worried about what's, what's coming next. We yeah. don't usually plan. No, it's usually like, it's usually based on what looks good when we go mm -hmm. shopping. Well, I think the only time we might have a whole meal of one ingredient is when the tomatoes are really good. Yes. Or when our fridge is empty and we only have eggs. Deal. Get in there. This is some kind of produce. I, it almost feels like a bunch of bananas. It's a bunch of bananas. <laughs> there we go. We got it. You nailed it. That's not easy. We also have to use the peel. Is the peel edible? We'll make it edible. Immediately, banana polenta, delicious, with mm -hmm. something that we pipe inside of the banana leaf and mm -hmm. steam. That's such a good idea. Like fish? Mm-hmm. What, halibut? Halibut. The spicy, too, could be good. Mm -hmm. A little heat there, like a pickled red onion mm -hmm. with some like little habanero in there. Mm -hmm because I feel like that habanero fruit goes nice with the banana. Okay, dessert. Do you think that there's enough time to make a banana cream pie? I like an excuse to make a banana cream pie. Well, everything else is so easy mm -hmm. that you can like dedicate your entire time to making pie. I can just pie. make pie. Yeah. You're two for two for ingredients I hate. I like the flavor of bananas. I really dislike the texture of bananas. So they need to be at a perfect ripeness for me to enjoy them. Like once they go a little bit too far, they just kind of turn into mush. The timing is too precise. So mm -hmm. I just don't even really try. Another thought. I know we're changing it up. Cause I'm just thinking like halibut with all of this, I want something gamier and, and like meatier with all these with flavors. The yeah. So I'm thinking I want duck and char the F out of these peels, infuse that into the liquid we're cooking the polenta in. If you're doing duck, are you sticking with the pickle situation? Mm -hmm. You don't want a jus? I want a jus with that. If there's duck, I want jus. If we're doing jus, then I can infuse the charred peels in the jus. Okay, yeah, that sounds good. Okay, we've got a plan. So we're gonna do pan roasted duck breast with a charred banana jus, banana polenta, and then a little quick pickle with red onion, habanero, Citrus. And, citrus. and then for dessert, banana cream pie with salted caramel. What more can you ask for? Some chocolate shavings. With, and maybe some little bit of uh, freeze-dried banana. Oh, let's do freeze-dried banana whipped cream. Banana on banana. Yes. Banana meal. Banana meal. I don't know if there will be a pie at the end of this, but I'm going to try. I got all of these bowls prepared to make all of the ice baths. Is that, that all for I, I, <laughs> yeah. ice bath bowls? <laughs> yeah. Everything needs a rapid chill today. Usually I'll, I'll make a pie like a few, like four hours. Four hours is the right amount of time, the minimum amount of time so you can get a clean slice. Okay, one hour. One hour. All right, ready? Three, two, one, go. Go. Okay. Go. <laughs> I'm gonna start on caramel. And while that turns into caramel, sugar. Okay, hold on. Hold on, I don't remember where the sugar is for planning. I forgot the sugar. The time has begun. First thing I'm doing is I'm gonna score and dry brine my duck breast. I'm not trying to cut through the skin and get into the flesh. I'm just gonna help it render a bit. No big deal. Smooth start. The corn syrup is like a nice uh, insurance against crystallization. Okay. So this is just salt, sugar, and MSG. I'm gonna toast the polenta. It just makes it uh, taste cornier. So for my pastry cream, we got our milk, sugar, salt, cardamom and bananas. It's Ooh. so good. Yeah, so, so delicious. Ooh, cornstarch. I forgot to grab cornstarch. 
very dramatic every time I have to grab something. <laughs> so here, what's the rule? If it's flour, do I need more of it? Yeah. But I'm not sure how much more. I'm gonna guess and say double. It will definitely set. It will definitely set. I don't normally like to make pastry cream with flour because it can be floury, but you know, sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. Amazing at the pastry cream. What's my time? 51, oh my God, nine minutes already? Wow, 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 wow. So now my polenta's toasted. This is nice and hot. I'm gonna get a nice whirlpool going and then I'm just gonna drop it in. Wow, that smells really good already. All I have to do is pie and I'm already failing. What do you mean? It's a disaster you over even here. <laughs> I mean, there's no cornstarch. I haven't made a cornstarch pastry or a flour pastry cream since culinary school. Yeah. It's like, who makes <laughs> a flour pastry cream? Flour pastry creams take a little longer to cook out, which is really great when there's like a time limit. Yeah, it really works out. Am I boiling milk in every episode? We're gonna have to find a way to incorporate it, right? We're going to now. Boiled yeah. milk every way. How hot you feeling? You feeling two habanero spicy or three habanero spicy? Two habanero spicy. Okay. Hey, Ham. Yeah? Can you hold this bowl for me? Yeah. We're tempering our egg mixture so it doesn't curdle from wow. the hot milk. Will it be pie? I don't know, guys. All right, that looks good. Once the sugar's dissolved, I like to remove the lid and then we're gonna get some browning. Love the floral, like, fruitiness you get the second you cut into a habanero. Yeah. It, like, perfumes the air around you. Everything's smelling good already. Mm -hmm. Corny, habanero-y, cardamom-y, but not banana-y. Not banana-y. Well, we haven't broken into the bananas yet. What, what's the time at? 45 minutes, wow. So I'm shaving some red onion that I'm gonna kind of quick pickle with the habaneros and some grapefruit. And then we're gonna finish this with some like freshly picked cilantro. I think double the flour seemed like the right amount. This feels like a good texture. That looks like it has the potential to be pie. pie potential. pie potential. Oh, I forgot to add the butter. <gasps> Come off, remove. You know, at least we caught it at a time where I can do something about it. I'm gonna need some grapefruit segment for the, or uh, peel for the jus, so I'm just cutting it now so I don't forget. How's that caramel looking, Ham? Uh, still looking white. Okay. Fridge. Go freezer. Yeah. 40 minutes. Yeah, we definitely should do freezer. I'm afraid of leaving this caramel right now. I'm just gonna stay here for a second. You know? Yeah. That feels like the responsible thing to do. That's a good do. idea. Well, I can mise out my next thing. You, you <laughs> immediately abandoned your plan. Yeah, I did. So I'm gonna blitz up the freeze-dried bananas with a little bit of sugar and salt, and then I'm gonna add the cream in there and whip it up, and that's gonna be our banana with cream topping. Woo, banana dust. Next, I'm going to start burning some peels for the jus, and I'm going to cut up my banana and grate my cheese for the polenta. Caramel. Oh my God, am I gonna make it? We're gonna make it. You're gonna make it. Oh. Now that I got these charred peels, I'm just gonna drop them right into this jus as it reduces. Okay, we got our Sean tea. Is this the recipe you used before? No, it's like a combo of people's recipe, like the whipped cream is Stella's, Stella Parks' recipe. The pastry cream is Liz Pruitt. It's like the greatest hits. All the greats, Yeah. all the greats. When I don't know what to do, those are my standbys and they never let me down. I'm gonna start from a cold pan and I'm pressing it because I want maximum skin to pan contact. Will it be pie? We're gonna find out We're in gonna, 20 minutes. Exactly. We're gonna find out. The crust, I, I think I overdid it with the fat. Oh well.
Let's see how this one's doing. Okay, this one is good. So it's just, we're waiting on crust. Uh, I feel like this has infused enough, so I'm gonna pull it out and just let it reduce the rest of the way. What if we just like blast it and take it out a little earlier? It's really good. I'm not getting a lot of banana though. Can I steal one of your bananas? Yeah. I'm gonna steal two of your bananas. I didn't say you could steal two. It's very, it's very mushy. It's so mushy. How much time do I have? 15. I'm gonna let it go for five. It got brown. It might be fine. It's very hot. I, I feel like if I put it directly in the freezer, that's scary. What if I go fridge and then freeze it? It's a little bitter from the char, not unpleasantly so, but I'm gonna balance that out with a little bit of honey. I feel like I'm in British Bake Off. They always give them things like make a wedding cake in an hour, and you're like, that's not, that's not a thing you can do. Risky business. There's a lot of really good uh, flavor in this fawn right here. So I'm going to scrape it up and then add it to our jus. Pastry cream is set. Pastry cream is set. Let's loosen it up a little. Huh, who knew the crust was going to be the thing? Never would have guessed. So I tasted it, it's pretty gelatinous. You see how it still kind of flows a little too soupy? I'm looking for that to be just a hair thicker. Do you have a sec? Yeah, I do. What's up? Could you fill up a big bowl with more ice so I can ice bath the whole thing? Yeah. Okay. You know, I don't have time to make it perfect. It's just, it just needs to be pie. Giant ice bath. Giant ice bath. Thank you. Seven, Seven minutes. Seven minutes. It's gonna taste good, if, if that counts for anything. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I think we're gonna make it. Yeah, I'm good. I haven't even looked over at you. I've just been stressed about pie. We're done. We're done. Minute 30 left. Ooh. We did it. We did it. We're here. We're here. One hour later. One hour later. With dinner. Yeah. And pie. No big deal. And a mess. But it's fine. Banana polenta. You're starting with banana polenta? You have to tell people where the banana polenta comes from. The origins of banana polenta. Oh, I, I learned to make this banana polenta at uh, Michael Voltaggio's place when I worked there. In the Los first Angeles. Time in Los Angeles. It was my first job. We'd just moved there. We'd just gotten married. But look at where it brought you. Banana polenta. It brought me to this. It was like all meant to be for this moment. For this one moment. <laughs> this full circle moment. Still very good. Still very good. Somehow, the banana with the like toasted corn and cheese, it doesn't taste like a banana anymore. Mm -mm. Yeah. Everyone, like banana polenta is something everyone can make. Everyone should make. This is super, super tasty. It tastes really good with the polenta. Mm -hmm. It really comes together with a salad. It really needs mm -hmm. that heat and acid. I want to taste the char. That's really nice. It just adds this like nice bitter astringency-ness to cut through the super rich 44 ounces of bone broth that was reduced to a cup. <laughs> like intense tea. We're just eating dinner now. You've lost us. Banana cream pie, classic. One of my favorite pies, but we never make it because we're two people. I like the banana chantilly. Mm -hmm. I like the caramel too. Mm -hmm. In my mind, the, 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 it was like billows of oh, really? cream. <laughs> like a mountain. <laughs> and curls of chocolate. It's a little flat. Not in flavor. It's definitely not flat in flavor. That's what, the only thing that matters. Especially when it's just a casual weeknight dinner at home. Uh-huh. This that is what is. everyone does uh, on a Wednesday after work. And now you two can make this at home. I'm sure this video was instructional enough.
My finger was in the way. 